Hello, everyone. I'm Doug Wright. I'm a professor at, in the Department of Anatomy and Cell Biology at the University of Kansas Medical Center in Kansas City. Um, I serve as the vice chair of that department, but I also serve um, as the vice chair of research for a clinical department in the Department of An Anesthesiologists. I I'm a researcher that studies diabetic neuropathy, um, and our research includes animal models as well as clinical studies to try and improve um, complications associated with diabetic neuropathy uh, for patients. I was thrilled today to present Grand Rounds for the Department of Neurology at the University of Michigan. Uh, it's an honor to present my research to this particular uh, group of clinicians and researchers as they have a tremendous amount of expertise in this particular area. My talk today uh, focused on interventions that could provide benefit for patients with diabetes, and these include both exercise as well as dietary interventions on using a ketogenic diet. And my, re my research using the ketogenic diet as an intervention really uh, has explored the potential benefits of a ketogenic diet on improving uh, both complications associated with pain in neuropathy as well as axonal loss uh, that has consequences for patients in terms of feeling their hands and feet and, um, and improving um, the care of their skin. And so our, our studies show that if you introduce uh, a ketogenic diet, it provides benefits in terms of reducing pain significantly in animal models, as well as uh, stimulating axon growth in the skin, which has traditionally been very, very difficult uh, from a clinical standpoint to improve the sensation in a patient with um, with diabetes and axonal loss. Our studies are exploring different mechanisms that um, a ketogenic diet might exert its effects, both as a, an important fuel source for neurons to improve their um, energy demands um, and to reduce complications associated with elevated glucose, but also to look at uh, other mechanisms by which a ketogenic diet might reduce toxic levels of um, of compounds that are associated with, with diabetes, for example, uh, a compound called methylglyoxal. And so our studies uh, using animal models really show great promise to, in, to use a ketogenic diet as an intervention. Uh, we're working on various safety factors to make sure that the diet is safe and to understand what the benefits are um, and what the mechanisms are that underlie these benefits. So we're very excited. This work is very uh, amenable to moving it to clinical studies and improving the health and life of patients uh, fairly rapidly. And we're excited about those processes. So again, thank you for allowing me to present.